Well, now we want to take a look at some of that flooding that we are seeing in Pomeroy. The water expected to crest by tonight. Yeah, News Channel 3's Alex Jackson has been in Pomeroy all through the morning. And now give us a comparison, Alex. Where is it now? Absolutely, and really it's kind of a tale of two sides of the street here. If you look behind me at Court Street here in Pomeroy along uh, East Main Street, you can see it's pretty dry. It really doesn't look like it's having too many problems. By the time that you look across the way to Lynn Street, we are seeing a much different uh, issue. As you can see, the water has really started to pile up over the measuring stick, reading a little bit over 48 feet. And this thing is expected now to crest at around 49 feet. We've seen some pretty big fluctuations. We saw as high as 51 feet, and now we're looking at 49, which would be uh, good news for a lot of the business owners along here. As you can see, some of the businesses past Lynn Street, there is going to be some water inside of those basements over here. But we were here yesterday at Weaving Stitches where they put all these sandbags up to try and prevent this glass from breaking. Right now, sidewalks dry. So again, this water is going to continue to rise though, and it'll be interesting to monitor that to see how much it comes up. But you can see it coming right from the Ohio River and see how quickly that water is still flowing, carrying large debris. And you can also see that this is actually a boat uh, dock. So you can normally walk under this where these light posts are, and it's all covered up with water as well. And the flood stage for Pomeroy is 46 feet. We're about two and a half feet or so above that right now and still a little bit uh, more to go as we work our way through the afternoon and into the evening hours. But we did get a chance to talk with a couple of people in the area who came out to look at this because, again, even though this uh, place does flood, they have not seen a flood quite like this one in about six years. So take a listen to what some of the locals said about coming out and seeing the floodwaters today. I'm originally from Colorado, so we don't see this amount of water ever. So it really has been fascinating for me to see the water and also respect it. So just mainly the concern of everybody through here. I just feel so sorry for them and just continue to pray for them that it doesn't fully today get into the you know, buildings as much. And we're going to have more coverage for you throughout the afternoon and into the evening as this uh, continues to rise and reach its ultimate crest later. So definitely going to be something worth keeping an eye on because, again, we've seen some fluctuation in those crest numbers. Uh, so there's a big difference between 49 and 51 feet as far as what's going to flood. So we are going to keep an eye on that and uh, keep an eye on the businesses. Of course, some of them are going to have water in the basement already, but uh, it'll be interesting seeing how it goes uh, from east to west, looking at Court Street as well, what the business as they're going to look like. So we're going to keep an eye on it for you throughout the day as uh, this uh, rise is ongoing. Alex, thank you. We appreciate the report, but you can see Main Street clearly has water over it. You don't want to drive through that. I think they have the road closed at this point to try to keep more people away from it.